you can't fathom that someone would poison you, let alone someone you love and you hadn't done anything to make them do that. A local sheriff's deputy talking exclusively to Fox 31 News about how his wife tried to poison and kill him. I just could not comprehend that she was trying to kill me. It's the controversial law of the year, Arizona's new immigration law. Now a candidate for Colorado governor wants to bring it here. And bears, they're back from hibernation and back in Colorado neighborhoods too. Good evening, thanks for joining us. I'm Libby Weaver. And I'm Ron Zapolo, a Jefferson County Sheriff's deputy targeted by his wife attempting to kill him. She fed him a salad mixed with food poisoning. Now he's speaking only to Fox City One News. Investigative reporter Heidi Hemet is here with the one-on-one -on -one interview. Yeah, that's right. Well, Deputy Allen admits that there was some conflict in his marriage. His wife was depressed, had threatened suicide. She was spending a lot of time working for a mutual male friend. Deputy Allen got suspicious when he realized she was searching for poisonous plants on the Internet, but he still didn't think he was in danger until she allegedly made him a special dinner that could have killed him only woman I'd ever been in love with. He thought he had the picture-perfect family. And I had tears coming in my eyes when she came down the aisle. He married his first love. They adopted a beautiful daughter. Thought we were the all-American family. And even though there was some trouble in their marriage. But I was committed and, and thought we were going to grow old together. Deputy John Allen thought they would be together for the rest of his life. You can't wrap your mind around it. That is, until he learned his wife was planning his untimely death. It probably took me several months to even just comprehend that the woman I loved had tried to kill me. Deputy Allen says he had been worried about his wife because she seemed suicidal. He grew more concerned when he noticed she had been researching poisonous plants online. I also saw a search that said fatal to human or toxic to human plants. Still, he pushed those thoughts aside the night he says Lisa called and told him she had made him a special dinner. So I eat my spaghetti. And I'm eating a salad, and it's bitter, kind of like one of those dandelion leaf salads. But there's no dandelion leaves in it. Well, I'm still not alarmed. I don't think a thing, you know. But he became alarmed when he realized his salad had been mixed with potentially lethal foxglove leaves. I didn't know if I was going to die, but I was like, I, I can't even tell you how to comprehend what's going through your mind at that point. A hospital toxicology test later confirmed what Deputy Allen didn't want to believe. I couldn't comprehend that she was trying to kill me. I couldn't, I knew it. I knew it, like I said, all the facts were there, but I couldn't bring myself to understand it. Lisa Allen was charged with attempted murder and pleaded guilty to a lesser crime in exchange for a plea agreement. You'd think that I wouldn't have been naive being in the profession that I'm in, but before that was all everybody else's life. That was what I saw in my job on the street. That wasn't my home. Now this veteran officer knows how it feels to be a victim. So I wake up in the middle of the night, just hit the floor crying and praying for her. And it has changed him forever. Yeah, do I fear her? You bet. I fear what it's going to be like if she gets out. Lisa Allen pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of second-degree assault. It carries a maximum of three to six years in prison. Her attorney did not want to comment on camera, but says just because Lisa pleaded guilty to the charge doesn't mean she is confessing to doing anything wrong. And he says there is more to, the, to this case than meets the eye. Lisa Allen will be sentenced on May 14th. You can tell in that interview that he's so still shaken up by everything that happened. Right, and he said, you know, before all of this, you know, he used to deal with women who were victims of domestic violence. It felt really bad for them, but now he feels like, you know, he's, he's walking the in their shoes. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. He says it's going to change the way he does his job. Yep. Yeah. Heidi, thanks. Mm -hmm.